Adele Roberts, our artist interview. Galaxy. Hiya, you all right? It's Adele off the late show. Come on in, sit down and make yourself comfy. Now, hopefully, you're here to check out the Kerry Hilson interview, aren't you? Good choice. She's a lovely girl, and this is what she had to say when she came by Galaxy. I was uh, just talking before to the fellow who's looking after you today, and he was saying to me, do you know what, Adele? Kerry so deserves all the success that she's getting now because she's been in the business for 12 years. That's true. That's true. Were you six when you started? <laughs> uh, nice try. I think I'll <laughs> say yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was pretty young, though, and it has been many years. I guess, of working in the industry um, in and out of different situations. And I guess I learned that it really is survival of the fittest. You know, yeah. no one's exempt from, from from having to go through some of the same situations I had to go through. I first heard you on the Lloyd Banks track, Help, and I thought that girl's got an absolutely beautiful voice. And then came along the big one, the Timberland track, The Way I Are. And then I was just like, <laughs> wow, this girl, yeah. <laughs> yes, this girl is going to be absolutely massive. So how did it work? Did Timberland come with the beats and then you did the lyrics? Like, how did it work? Yeah, I kind of always had the idea to do a song and I thought that I would say something like you know take off your chain and get out of your car I thought it would kind of be like that but it just kind of evolved into I like you the way you are I mean how much simpler can I say that if you strip you could still get a tip because I like you the way you are stripped of all the accessories that guys put forth and then obviously this is kind of like led on to your debut single over here Return the Favour which is such an amazing track as well again that futuristic R&B sound I think you're taking R&B to a different level oh wow I don't know if I can take that credit but I do love where music is right now. I mean, it is ever evolving. R&B and hip hop is in a great fun place right now. So I'm glad to be among it. If you consider me a leader of the pack, then that's a cool thing. When I first heard the track, I didn't know if Return the Favor meant that Timbaland was returning the favor to you, you know, because you've worked on each other's track. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad you caught the double entendre because he was the first person to introduce me to the world. And this track reminded us of The Way I Are. He actually called me on a random day and said, Carrie, I got a track that is like bigger than The Way I Are. <laughs> and I don't know that the song will grow to be bigger than The Way I Are, but it reminds us and it it was touching to me that he would give me one of those. You know, even though I am signed to him and everything, of course, he has vested interest, but it was just a cool thing to say, okay, now it's your turn and I'm going to feature on your song. So Timbaland returned the favor and, and that's how it came about. It's another clutch record. I like your Timbaland accent. That's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's he's kind of easy to mock. <laughs> just sound as dry as you possibly can. <laughs> I've got to say, the video is very sexy, Kerry, and one of the guys here just asked me to ask you, are you single? Oh, wow. Well, I'm dating. I'm oh. dating. I guess I'm single in the sense that um, I can't take anybody as serious as I'd like to. I'm a hopeless right. romantic, but you know, still, it wouldn't be odd to see me and one of the possible candidates holding hands or, or maybe being a little romantic. It wouldn't be odd. I love that you call them <laughs> candidates. That's brilliant. Candidates, you know, I'm yeah. accepting applications. <laughs> okay. Where do we write to? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Miss Carrie Baby on Twitter, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> is, is that really you? Because I went to add you on Twitter yeah. today and I, did, I wasn't sure if that was really you. So that's you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's me. Yay. That's me. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm going to add you in a bit then. Cool. Well, um, if you spelled it right, there's a couple other Miss Carrie babies because, you know, there are a lot of Carries in the world and mine is M-I-S-S-K-E-R-I-B-A-B-Y. Okay, cool. I'm writing that down. Yeah. Actually. Right, cool. I'm definitely cool. going to add you. Um, actually, Kerry, you might be able to help me out. Um, one of your mates is coming on the show soon. We hope. Uh, Sierra, we're trying to get her on the show. And I was just wondering if there's anything that you can tell me to say to her that will, you know, make me sound funny. Um, hmm. Or can I ask her something that you'd know about that she'd be like, how do you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. What, what should I say? We first worked together when she was like 16 years old. She was signed to Jazzy Faye. And she used to wear these, like, I think they were boxing shoes. They were like Adidas Tiger boxing shoes, really, really high. And she has big feet. (laughs) (laughs) She wears like a size 10, I think. So she would be surprised to know that you know that. Okay. (laughs) All right. That's great. Boxing boots. I love it. (laughs) Yeah. She loved boxing boots. (laughs) She's not shy, is she? Sierra's got big feet. I'm not saying that to her. She'll knock me out. Right. Well, that's what we played out on Galaxy if you missed it. And here's the rest of the interview. Basically, the juicy bits that we didn't have time to fit in. Enjoy. First of all, thank you so much for coming on the show, Kerry. We love you. Thank you so much. And I have to say as well that you're looking good. Thank you. What have you got I think on? I'm, I'm a bit schnazzy. I'm wearing like just some like motorcycle boots, some jeans, of course, some tight jeans. Yeah. And a hoodie. I don't know. I'm pretty low-key today. Yeah, you sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, congratulations as well.
as well on your debut album, In a Perfect World. I am so glad it's here, finally. Thank you, yes. You and me both, trust me. It's been a long time coming, and um, I'm ecstatic. Sometimes I look at the CD and I still can't believe it. So I know that Kerry has definitely got positive thinking because she's made it. So what would you say to people that are kind of aspiring to be in the business and, you know, they keep getting knocked back? Oh, man, you know what? It's a constant grind. You say I made it, but I think the thing that keeps me the most humble is the fact that I don't feel like I made anything. I feel like every day I try to top the last thing I did and work a little harder each day. That's my advice to everybody. You know, never feel like you're anywhere. Keep the same grind that you had in the beginning. Brilliant. Fantastic. So uh, did you start off in a girl band? Yes, I did. A couple. Oh, really? I thought the one uh-huh. was it called Design. <laughs> no, it's called By Design. Oh, right. Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right now. That's cool. And yeah, I guess it was cool. I mean, that was a group that I guess got further than the second group. It was the first group of the two that I was in and we were signed to Electra Records. I was in the group from 14, but we signed it around 16, like same week that I graduated high school and uh, had to cut my senior trip short. Mind you, I was one of the organizers because I was the vice president of my class. Oh, well, you're very clever as well. Yeah, I had to cut my trip short, go home, take my braids out from my vacation, get my hair done and fly to New York. And that's when we got our deal. Wow, that's amazing. Um, (laughs) And I think it's fantastic as well now that you've moved on and before all this success of your album you were like mainly a songwriter and with your group The Clutch yes we're actually a bunch of writers who have had individual success and band together for certain projects everything we do isn't a clutch record you know every record that we do is not all five of us in the same room but it is myself Ezekiel Lewis Candace Nelson Balewa Muhammad JQ and yeah we do band together so it's a pretty fun system we got going <laughs> so, so how did you move from singer to songwriter and then from songwriter to singer again I took up songwriting because I knew that it was something that, well, at least I thought I was good at it. And I guess it was proven in the fact that it moved very quickly for me and um, it was something that came pretty easily. But yeah, I thought that I was good at it. I took it up as a plan B, as sort of my means of living. I needed something to do after my group was dispersed, for lack of a better word. Of course, I always did have the dream of still being an artist, but I'm a realist. I know many people who are a lot more talented than me that either gave up or maybe they consider themselves a failure or didn't make it for whatever reason so I'm a realist and that's when I took up songwriting I kind of grown content with being a songwriter because I got to still sing you know I still could demo the records and and, right. and then direct traffic in the studio with some of my favorite artists I had a lot of fun and still have a lot of fun you know writing songs for other people so I guess meeting Timbaland was one of the main events that reignited the artist in me another question regarding the video where did you get your sexy boots from I love them my sexy boots haha <laughs> that's funny they are actually made by my stylist yeah they were like a special um what do you call call that custom piece right I, see. <laughs> I love those boots I yeah definitely and also where did you get your your, um, your eyes from they're beautiful <laughs> oh thank you so much are they actually green that's another custom piece um, oh okay no I'm kidding <laughs> but they're not green they're hazel and my dad has green eyes and what's crazy is I'm second oldest of five children everybody's eyes get darker as they go down my oldest sister has more green mine are more brown and so on and so on like they get darker and darker all the way to like my mom's color <laughs> oh right Okay, yeah. cool. So what do you think the second single is going to be in the UK, Carrie? Please, can it I be Knock You Down? I hope it's Knock You Down. Yay! Because, yeah, you know, as long as I've been here, and I get a lot of tweets about it from some of my UK friends, and you guys have a special affinity for both Kanye and Neo, who I'll be on tour with coming July. So oh, you guys got to wow. check me out. Yeah, I'll be opening up for Neo. Awesome, because I believe that you're um, going on tour with Lil Wayne, or have you been on tour with Lil Wayne? Yeah, I was on tour with Lil Wayne. I think he's coming out here next. Yes, he is. I was on tour with him like four or five months we had a great time it was fun is he your boyfriend no he's not my boyfriend he's not a suitor or an applicant (laughs) no he's not an applicant just because he wouldn't want to be I don't think Um. yeah he'd want you all to himself (laughs) no no but we're entertainers if you're referring to the video of us flirting you know we're entertainers and we're there to do just that for a bunch of people and we just thought it was fun to keep playing with the song and and things that the song talks about so that was fun okay well thank you so much Kerry Adele Roberts, Sunday to Thursday nights from 10, Galaxy.